Hong Kong is a beautiful blend of concrete jungle and luscious hills surrounded by water. Even if I grew up here, there is always something new to discover, whether it is a hike or a brand new restaurant. Today, I'm heading to Central with my friend Anjali to try a couple of places that have been on my list. We're starting our day with some dim sum at Tim Ho Wan. We have a couple of locations throughout Hong Kong, but this is my favorite. This is the cheapest Michelin-starred restaurant in the entire world. They've opened a couple of locations elsewhere, and we're going to try some of their specialties. Let's go. Jugan, siu mai, ta su bao. As you can see, it's packed full of people. There's a really long line right now. Um, they're probably going to have to wait about half an hour to get this delicious dim sum. Um, we got here at 9 a.m. when it opened, so it was really the perfect timing. There was no one there. Oh, I thought she was coming for us. The tea is pretty much a staple in China, and especially at dim sum, since we have a lot of oily things, it's really important to have tea. Oh, good. I thought that was for the other table, too. I was like, where's our stuff? All right, look at these little beauties. So usually, uh, we have the white steam bun with the barbecue sauce and the pork inside. But here it's the crispy baked with like sweet glazed bun. Mm. I always really love the steam buns, but this is really good. The barbecue and the pork and the sweet glaze go in perfect harmony. Here's the shumai. I think I'm gonna burn myself if I eat this right now. Ah, Anjali, it's too hot. <laughs> Anjali, I'm burning myself. See this guy too, he's burning himself. It's so hot. <laughs> so this is a pork and shrimp dumpling. Really well known in Chinese cuisine. You can find it even in the US. Can you tell me what this is? There we go. A little rice noodles. So sometimes you have shrimp inside, sometimes it's beef, sometimes it's pork. Uh, today we have pig's liver. So it's one of their well-known things here in Tim Ho Wan. So we use chopsticks for everything. Picking up, cutting. Feeling pretty good right now. I have a little bit of space left, so we're gonna go to this great clay pot place that everyone's talking about right now. Sayin Pun is a trendy neighborhood with hip bars and restaurants and street art making an appearance in the last few years. We finally made it to Wing Hop Sing, which is the clay pot place I was telling you about. We're a little further east than we were earlier. And as you can tell, you can just pass in front of it and not know this is the place you want to go to. So get a good shot of what this looks like. And we're going to try the beef and egg rice that everyone's been talking about. So let's give it a try. This is the beef and egg rice. So now that it's clean, Ngosai. All right, here it goes. Mm. Oh, this is good. <laughs> Mm. This is delicious. And I like that the clay pot really keeps it warm. Even with these really simple ingredients, you just have so much flavor. Time for some dessert. I'm headed to Times Square in Kazo Bay for some egg waffles. I definitely got some additional practice dodging people in rugby by spending so much time here growing up. These are egg waffles. These are some of my favorite desserts in Hong Kong. Uh, they've been here for a really long time. I used to come here when I was 12 or 13, back when it was only $10. 
really simple batter just put into those little machines where they open up and look like little eggs and really easy to just carry around as you're shopping around town. So can I have some egg waffles please? Where should we go next?